When did the first smartphone come out? A number of things occurred in 1992, including The Olympic Games were held in Barcelona from 1992 to 1996. Bill Clinton was just elected President of the United States. The Cold War was officially proclaimed to be finished. The year 1992, however, was also the year when IBM launched the world's first smartphone, in the middle of all of this social and political upheaval. Fast forward two years, and the gadget is now available for purchase on the market for a reasonable $1,100 per unit. And after just six months on the market, it had sold more than 50,000 pieces. While personal telephones have been present since the 1970s, the introduction of the smartphone sparked a wave of excitement among American consumers in a level that had never been seen before. After all, it was during the three decades that elapsed between the introduction of the first mobile phone and the introduction of the first smartphone that the modern internet was born. And it was this idea that ignited the very beginning of the digital telecommunications boom that we are seeing right now. So, where have we come from since that momentous day in 1992, and how has the creation of the smartphone influenced us as individuals and as customers in the years that followed? Deliver to your mailbox once a week. Our finest marketing and business texting content will help you grow your company. A chronology of the development of the modern smartphone. Let's take a stroll down memory lane and observe when each significant breakthrough took place in history. What year was the first smartphone introduced? This was accomplished by IBM, who developed the first smartphone in 1992 and introduced it to the public for purchase in 1994. The Simon Personal Communicator was the name of the device, SPC. Despite the fact that it was neither particularly small or elegant, the gadget had some features that would become standard in every smartphone that followed. To give you an example, the SPC was equipped with a touchscreen and the capacity to send and receive email as well as fax messages. It came with a calendar, an address book, and an appointment planner built in. In addition, it had both regular and predictive stylus input screen keyboards. These characteristics distinguished it from other smartphones and made it deserving of the title world's first smartphone. Cell phones and the internet collided in 2001. It wasn't until the year 2000 that the smartphone was really linked to a 3G network in the first place. In other words, a mobile communications standard was developed to let portable electronic devices connect to the internet through a wireless connection. This raised the stakes for smartphones, allowing them to do tasks such as video conferencing and sending huge email files without difficulty. It was necessary to pay a fee in order to use the internet from your phone, though. While the price of the gadget has dropped to the $300-$700 area, the cost of data was still too expensive for most people to justify the pressure. 2007 marks the emergence of Steve Jobs. The year 2007 was one of the most significant in the development of the smartphone. It was the year in which Steve Jobs and the Macworld team unveiled the world's first iPhone. Not only was this the sleekest touchscreen gadget to ever reach the market, but it was also the first device to deliver a complete, undiluted version of the internet, making it a groundbreaking innovation. With the very first iPhone, people were able to access the web in the same way they would on a traditional desktop computer. The gadget was available in two storage capacities, 4 GB, $499, and 8 GB, $599. Battery life of 8 hours of conversation time, equal to the 1 hour of juice available on 1992 cell phones, and 250 hours of standby time were among its many impressive features. But despite the difficulties, don't we all recall how much simpler it was to text on a BlackBerry as opposed to the first iPhones one finger at a time? The iPhone has become more popular. Even so, it left an impression on the industry that has endured to this day. The world is at our fingertips in 2019. And just like that, we've arrived in the contemporary era of history. Since the introduction of the iPhone 12 years ago, we've seen the following developments. There are 21 new iPhones. The introduction of the Android smartphone, which is Google's alternative to the iPhone. Android devices have gone through hundreds of hardware revisions. The emergence of mobile applications, and the monetization of them. There is a new kind of artist called a mobile photographer, who works on the go. Texting and messaging that takes place through wireless networks are considered to be to say that cell phones have revolutionized the way we live our lives is an understatement. 
It is believed that at least 2.5 billion of the projected 5 billion cell phone customers in the globe hold a smartphone, making about a quarter of the total. And it is projected that this number will continue to climb. What impact have smartphones had on the way we do business? Now that we've seen how smartphones have transformed the way we interact over the last two decades, let's take a look at some of the most significant ways cell phones have transformed the way we conduct business. The development of a culture of right now smartphones provide us with instant access to the whole world's storehouse of information in a matter of seconds. Consumers' expectations for rapid satisfaction have increased as a result of this trend. Apart from anticipating immediate response times from companies to their messages, which is why many of them are now using a business texting platform to communicate with their consumers, people also expect to be able to access the purchase process for any item or service quickly and conveniently. We said farewell to our workplace space. To be honest, not fully. However, owing to the proliferation of cell phones, telecommuting has become a viable option for many people. With the use of applications such as Slack, FaceTime, and Skype, you may access a virtual workplace from anywhere in the globe using your mobile device. Advertisers are delighted smartphones, and the applications that run on them have created an entirely new environment in which marketers may provide content. The cash earned by mobile advertisements is enormous, and it is quickly becoming the primary source of income for many firms. Those that like socializing mobile devices account for about 80% of the time spent on social media platforms. A consequence of this seismic shift, millions of companies have flocked to social media, devoting significant resources to connecting with consumers in that area, and millions more have followed suit. When it comes to cell phones and business, these four developments are just the top of the iceberg. There are many more to come. One thing is certain in a world where change is occurring at such a fast pace throughout the mobile landscape, one thing will never change. One thing has been constant throughout history, from the very first mobile device to the very first smartphone and all the way up to now. Texting is and will continue to be a significant element of the mobile story. And as every text marketer is well aware, it is on this side of history that we want to be.